We've all been waiting for it, and Pokemon has just dropped 13 minutes of Legends Arceus gameplay. Let's take a look. Yo, whoa, what is going on YouTube? It's your boy Dan, aka Drive. I'm bringing you guys a brand new video today, and today we've got a huge Pokemon Legends Arceus gameplay trailer. 13 minutes long to dive into. I haven't watched it yet. We're going to watch it together. I'm not going to waste any time. Like the video if you guys enjoy, and subscribe to the channel if you're new so you don't miss out on our Pokemon Legends Arceus news and coverage. Let's dive in and see what this trailer is all about. All right, let's do it. 13 minutes, baby. Let's go. I'm so excited. Welcome, trainers. Oh, this Thanks is going to be huge. Us today for a preview of the upcoming game, Pokemon Legends Arceus, releasing January 28th. Very excited, very excited. On the Nintendo Switch system. Today, we wanted to give you a first look at the game footage not final. So let's begin. Your adventure is set in the expansive Hisui region. In Hisui. Age long ago when it was rare for people and Pokemon to live in close harmony. In time, Hisui will come to be called the Sinnoh region. Very nice. Mount Coronet rises from the center of the Hisui region. Okay. Surrounded on all sides by areas with distinct environments. I like it. Each area That's something, this mineral. Natural features and plays host to different Pokemon. It's an creatures. item to collect for sure. One such area is the Obsidian Fieldlands, which you can see the trainer exploring here. The area is filled with Pokemon that call meadows and forests their home. Each area in Hisui has loads to discover, and you should make sure to collect a variety of different raw materials as you explore. These materials can be used to craft many items that will help you on your journey. So what we've heard from the riddles and the rumors and everything is that you really are going to need to catch a ton of the same Pokemon to access a lot of these items to be able to utilize them for the crafting mechanic in the game. And resources are going to be scarce. It's going gonna, it's gonna to be a grind is what I understand. Including healing items, lures, smoke bombs, a mysterious invention called a Pokeball, and more. Your Pokemon team can help you collect these materials too. You can find all kinds of useful resources across the region just by- Oh, that's cool! Plants, picking up plants growing in the wild grass, defeating or catching Pokemon, or knocking items- I don't know if you noticed that, but in the corner here it showed there is experience share in this game, by the way. You got trees. That's sick, so it seems like a lot of Pokemon can help with the various actions that are needed, not just- We saw Snorlax and Rapidash so far, now we see the starter Pokemon Rowlet. Here we see the trainer using some of the materials they have collected to craft items in preparation for their next mission. Very cool. All kinds of Pokemon will appear depending on the time of the day and the weather condition. Different species of Pokemon also- So time of day and weather impact the spawns. ...will have different temperaments. Some may ignore you as you approach, like this Bidoof. Some species, like Starly, are skittish and will run away if they see you approaching. <laughs> Can't wait for the shiny fails, so man! ...aggressive Pokemon that will attack you should they spot you in the wild. If an aggressive Pokemon spots you, or if you fail to catch it on your first sneak attempt, Yo. <laughs> Pokemon will enter an alert state. Dude, that shinx! In this state, all Pokeballs you throw will simply be deflected. Yo, by that's cool! In order to catch a Pokemon in this state, Okay. So some Pokemon, you're not going to be able to just catch. You're going to, they're going to get into an alarm state. They're going to force you into a battle and then you're going to have to beat them. You can initiate a battle by throwing a Pokeball containing one of your own partner Pokemon near a wild Pokemon. I love the UI. That looks really cool. Fight items run. That's cool. I love the old school Pokeballs, man. They look so good. The little smoke out. Oh, it's so good. You can use items to your advantage when catching wild Pokemon. For example, throwing a berry near a Pokemon will distract Yo, you. Yo, that's so sick! Then start eating. That's like While Pokemon eating, snap mechanics. Pokemon is much less aware of your presence, allowing you to go in for a backstroke. And you see that in the top corner there. I, I want to highlight that times you've given it food and i have a theory right now that this quest system is going to tie to shiny chance for each species but also going to be a core mechanic of how you advance in the game and again xp everyone gets xp here when encountering aggressive wild pokemon you have to be careful these pokemon will not think twice about attacking you yo just got wrecked if you take too much damage 
you will black out and lose some of the items you are carrying when you fainted. Yeah, so you will lose items. So it's like hardcore Minecraft. I don't think you can go back to the spot to get them. As part of the Survey Corps, you are on a mission to catalog and research all the different Pokemon that live in the harsh environments of Hisui. Not only will you need to catch many types of Pokemon on your mission, but you will also need to observe them using certain moves or displaying certain behavior. When you are finished in the field, you can visit Professor Laventon to hand in your survey report. This will update your Pokedex, as well as- There's a research your level for each Pokemon. Pokemon. You will also receive funds from the professor, which you can use to buy items and That's materials cool. to help you with your research. The vastness of the Hisui region is daunting to explore on foot. Luckily, throughout your adventure- you I wonder if they're gonna show anything new, like new character Pokemon. Pokemon. That will help you get to where you need to go with grace and speed. Weirdeer, helps you navigate on land faster. Hisui and Braviary, on the other hand... Oh, it looked like it through the automatically transitioned. Basky Legion allows you to traverse the rivers and seas throughout the Hisui region. With these Pokemon by your side, you will be able to explore the Hisui region to your heart's content. There's more than that, though. We know that. They're keeping some secrets. Evil Life Village is the center of operations for the Galaxy Expedition Team, a group made up of people who have come from different regions to study and live in the harsh region of Hisui. The Galaxy Team includes various corps, such as the Medical Corps and the Security Corps, as well as the Survey Corps, which carries out research on how Pokemon live. Jubilife Village will serve as the base for your search. Imagine campus. playing the game and only walking. After receiving <laughs> a mission or a request and preparing for your next excursion, You'll set out from the village to study one of the various areas of the Hisui region. After you finish your survey work, you'll return once more to prepare for so your So this is further class. confirmation that the game is not fully open world, but broken into segments. I don't necessarily think that's a bad thing, though. It's going to be a bunch of, like, Isle of Armors and Crown Tundras, basically. Which, again, I don't think is a bad thing. Along with the headquarters of the Galaxy Team and your own lodgings, Jubilife Village is also home to a variety of different services, such as the Clothier, the Craftworks, and the trading post, where you can trade Pokemon with other players. You can trade Pokemon? Interesting. I wonder what Pokemon are going to be exclusive to the trading post. You can receive a variety of different missions and requests from the inhabitants of Hisui. Requests are small tasks that you do to help the residents of Hisui, while missions will advance the main story. Once you receive a mission or request, it will be added to your Arc Phone. The Arc Phone is a mysterious device that allows you to track your movements, mark locations on the map, and track your current missions and requests. That's cool. Missions and requests vary. Oh, here's further different. confirmation that Pokemon, obviously, I think we knew this, but same species can be different sizes. Some examples of these objectives include discovering a specific Pokemon, finding a variety of different items, defeating powerful Pokemon in battle, or catching a number of one specific Pokemon for research. Please enjoy this clip of a trainer completing a request. If you catch a Shinx, could you show it to me? I've got to see it with my own eyes. I can't remember for the life of what those ears look like. It's driving me up the wall. What did Shinx's ears look like? So you head out into the wild. You sneak up on a Shinx. Notice how the screen, when you're in coming close to a battle it darkens around the edges i found that to be interesting so that shows that the pokemon might be aware of you or you might be getting close to a pokemon and then you just yeet the pokeball at it and you catch it you bring it back to the person toshi and you say yeah man i got you a shanks homie you can get it right from your pasture as well. Let's have a peek at those round ears. Its ears have a yellow cross pattern like a star. <laughs> I feel like the, the key in my mind of, of how this game plays out and how fun this game is is how diverse these missions are. 
because they could be one of two things now don't get me wrong i'm very excited for this game regardless but they could be one of two things they could be an approach where it's legit you know go out catch a shinx bring it back to me go out catch a wormhole bring it back to me you know what i mean like it could just be the same thing just with a different pokemon so we'll see how much variation there is there you can initiate a Pokemon battle by throwing one of your partner's Pokeballs at or near a wild Pokemon. If a wild Pokemon does not see you approaching and you strike them with one of your partner's Pokeballs, this will catch them unaware and may grant you an extra Oh, that's cool. In battle. So sneaking up on them and then engaging in battle gives you an advantage because they're not really aware. And you can see the action order here showing that the Baneri gets to attack multiple times before the Cricket Talk gets to attack. Now it knocks it out, but you can't catch it when you knock it out. Battles are turn-based, and you can get your Pokemon to attack in two unique styles. Strong style. Or agile style. Using a move in the agile style raises the user's action speed which may make the user's next turn come sooner at the expense of reducing the move's power. Strong style moves can allow you to attack with more power, but using them may delay your Pokemon's next turn. If an enemy so there's a significant stand, difference between the two, because it, it did about what looked to be about 35%, and then did the rest, which would have been, you know, 65%. So it I don't know. I think that there's a, a, a uh, an attack in the middle, right? Like where you don't pick a style. But that was very interesting that it, it, it showed such a drastic difference. Style moves. Prepare to be attacked multiple times in retaliation. Using agile style. So it sounds like you start you want to start weakening a Pokemon with agile style and then switch to strong style if you know you can deal the final blow. Style moves and strong style moves in battle causes your Pokemon's attacks to use more PP. Oh, okay. So be careful when planning your battles. A good strategy is Sorry, let me just hear team. that again. So be careful when planning style moves and strong style. So using moves both, causes whether you use, so there is a neutral, no style attack so as well. Be careful when planning your battles. A good strategy is the key to victory. Look at this big so wall rain. In the wild, you may come across a Pokemon that appears different to the others of the same species. These are known as alpha Pokemon. Alpha Pokemon. And have glowing red eyes. Be careful when approaching them if you are not prepared. They are very aggressive and will take a powerful team and strategy take down so like mini boss fights here the player uses agile style thunder wave to paralyze their opponent delaying their turns and making them easier to catch i like while it also changing move priority in an advantageous way for the player strategies like this are key to defeating alpha pokemon catching i gotta say the pokemon game looks sick down, like but if you manage it oh very powerful ally in your adventure Oh my god, and notice the trainer took damage there too from that Giga Impact. Very epic. I hope you're enjoying my G Fuel ASMR, by, by the way. Clothier, you can customize your character with a variety of different clothing items. As you progress through the game, you will unlock more outfits to purchase. Make sure to pick a style that speaks to you. Seems like there's some good, um, good amount of options. Some of the early customization options that trainers can wear. I really was disappointed with BDSP's customization options. They were, they were basically not existent. Your trainer's hairstyle, hair color, and eyebrow color at the hairdresser. Ah, my eyebrow color. The Hisui region can be dangerous. Dawn, is that you? That doesn't mean you can't look your best. Noble Pokemon, baby. So you got Alpha Pokemon, which are the red eyes, Warrior and these are the nobles. To face off against special which Pokemon are like the gym leaders of the game. Pokemon. A strange phenomenon is causing the nobles to become frenzied, making them rampage. As part of the Survey Corps, you will be recruited to calm these frenzied nobles. What a beast. Simply defeating them I hope you can catch them. Not calm them. You will have to quell their frenzy by throwing bombs made using these noble Pokemon's favorite foods. It can be difficult to hit a rampaging noble with these bombs. Oh, you gotta hit them a lot too. Like, look at that HP bar. You gotta hit them a lot. See an opportunity. Hit them with as many bombs as you can. Just like throwing a Pokeball, you need to aim carefully. 
noble Pokemon will attack the player directly, and if you take too much damage, you will black out and need to attempt the battle again. Interesting. Balance throwing your bombs with dodging attacks to calm the Yo! <laughs> that was sick! That was actually so sick. The noble Pokemon may let down its guard. This is the time to throw your Pokeball and start a Pokemon battle. These battles are tough, and planning ahead is essential if you wish to calm the noble Pokemon down. Can you catch it? I want a cleaver on my team. Oh my god, that was a really powerful bubble. Stealth Rock did damage? Nani? That did that was interesting. He definitely just I think that was Stealth Rock. Sneak peek of Pokemon Legends. Oh you do Oh you throw bombs. Oh okay. So it's like it's like a segmented battle. After it releases on January 28th, exclusively on Nintendo Switch. So you're gonna have to like hit him with bombs, Bye. battle him, hit him with more bombs. Oh, this is a cute little animation. Very cool. That was great, dude. Honestly, great. Really good explanation, for sure. So obviously there wasn't a ton of new stuff that got shown, but overall, really, really nice to get this overview as we head super close into the game. It makes me feel that maybe they're holding some of their secrets a little tighter. We know a lot of stuff through the Riddler and the leaks and things of that nature, but it makes me feel, like I said, that they don't want to kind of tip their cap on everything that uh, is going to be released in this game. But I certainly enjoyed that. Let me know your thoughts. Hit that like button down below if you guys enjoyed, and subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. I'll see you guys in the next one for Pokemon Legends Arceus. Peace.